Now, we can do the same thing for the other one. So if we come over to this guy, come over to emitters, and as a recap, what are we going to do? Uh, first thing, I want to set the texture over to the correct texture. So dink, now he's the correct texture. Beam, we need to set this to actor. actor. Come to beam endpoints, add one, and the actor tag is going to be, in this case, what is it at? Spike one. Exactly. So spike one, and look at that. He starts shooting at that guy. Cool. Now, of course, we need to come down to general, set this max particles to one. We need to go under time and set the life of it. Uh, yes, exactly. Time, set this to point one, point one. And finally, we need to come up to beam noise and change the high frequency noise range to 10 and negative 10 for all three of these guys. So 10, negative 10, 10, negative 10, 10, negative 10. Now, nah, negative 40, negative 10. Thank you. And high frequency points down to 5. Exactly. So look at that. Now we have them shooting back and forth lightning bolts. Very How cool. cool is that? Now, what if we wanted to come in here and add branches? Now, what does this mean? Well, if you think about a lightning bolt, there's different branches on the lightning bolt. Mm -hmm. How would you go about doing this? Well, we have another special tab, beam branching. So if you look in here, the main thing you have to worry about is our branch emitter. Right now, it's set to negative one, which means, well, we don't, we're not referencing any other emitters. Okay. What this is going to do is it's going to divide our lightning bolt into sections and say, I want you to emit particles right here or right here or right here. So it adds different branches. Well, we're going to need another emitter to specify how it's going to emit. So if we come back up to emitters, let's go ahead and do this. Add another emitter, and we want it to be a beam emitter. So create new. All right. Now, the second, um, the very um, index zero, excuse me, I'm getting my tongue all tied up here. Sure. The index zero, if we come into here, this is the main branch that we have here. Right. That, that's the first uh, beam that we actually created. That's right. So we want to come into beam branching and set branch emitter over to index one, which is going to be our new beam emitter. Okay. And we want to set use branching to true. Now, we're not going to see anything yet, but let's first make sure that the, the second emitter that we set up works properly. So let's just come over to our second one, which is index one. Okay, and this is zero base. All right. Come over to texture, set the texture equal to our bolt emitter. So it's doing some really crazy stuff here. If we come over to our beam, instead of velocity, we'll set this over to distance, and we'll set the distance range to something like 200 and 100. So how far it's going to be shooting out. Okay. And now if we come down, we need to set up one more thing, and that is the velocity, so it actually does shoot out. So we come down to velocity, come down to start velocity range, and in each of the axes we'll add maybe 50 in velocity, just something so that it can shoot the beams out. All right, cool. It's the distance that's going to actually determine how far it's going to shoot out. Sure. So, so this is just how quickly it's going to shoot out. Right. So look at that. Oh, very cool. So now it has stuff shooting out. Of course, it's only shooting out of the inside here. So what we're going to need to do is come back to the very first emitter we created, which is the main branch, come into its beam branching tab here. Now, we do have branch emitters set to 1, so it's referencing the second emitter. We have use branching set to true. Now, branch HF high points range. What this is allowing us to do is it's basically the the range of high frequency point um, high frequency points of the beam okay. so how many will it allow for us we want to set this to a max some large number so we don't really have to worry about it okay so 1000 is good this is also influenced if we come down to beam noise the number of high frequency points in our case it's only 5 so 1000 is a little bit big but it doesn't matter right but essentially it's just like using everything we've got that's right actually that's exactly it yeah. So what we can do is come down here. Now, branch probability. Um, this is basically setting the chance of the branches to appear. So how likely is it for them to appear? Also, if we set max, okay, this is going to make sense. If we set min to zero and max to one, it should distribute our branches evenly across the entire thing. Okay. So if that's what we want to set up there. Now, branch spawn amount range. Hmm. What we want this to be is to set... <coughs> how many branches can be at each of these individual points. So if we set max and min to 1, it will only create... Oh, look at that. Oh, very cool. So we have all sorts of branches going on here. So what this allows us to do is at each high frequency point, because it's dividing our brand, our entire main line, if you will, into separate segments... Right, and five say, segments. To five segments, right. At this segment, do we want 
How many branches? How many are we allowed? Right now, only one branch is allowed to be at that one particular segment. Well, that makes sense. If we set this to, say, 10, we could have 10 all at one spot here. So it's going to be more segmented, if you Up will. Up to 10. So we're getting a bit of a variation. Yeah, that's right. If we come and set both min and max to 10, it's going to shoot, like, 10 off of each branch. Out of each high-frequency point. Exactly. Very cool. So we set this to 1. Now we can come down into our second emitter and start tweaking this guy out. So maybe we don't want him to go out so far. We can say, okay, 100 and 20. So look at that. Now it's very short branches. Very cool. And maybe we can even come into color and say, opacity, you turn down. So now the branches are are more... Less opaque. <laughs> trying to spin <laughs> more it out. More transparent. Right and more transparent. Thank they you. have more see through itness. Hey, see through itness. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's all there is to branching. Now, that basically wraps it up. I really wanted to show this beam branching thing. That was kind of cool. So yeah, I'll throw that, that out pretty there. Wicked. We didn't see it in the intro, but, you know, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah. So I guess with that, that's going to wrap up this lesson and the next lesson. All we're going to do is set up the mesh emitter of our boulders falling down, and that'll wrap it up. So thanks, everyone. Cool.